the first obvious question is given what's happening in the power sector and the kind of moves that we have seen uh, how confident are you about your business going ahead uh, good morning and uh, thank you for uh, having me on your show uh, power sector is uh, obviously going through a transformation phase and uh, we are seeing uh, more and more uh, uh, renewable projects coming up but uh, there has been a spurt uh, in demand uh, of power uh, and therefore uh, uh, the conventional uh, uh, sources of energy are also making a, a comeback so we think that uh, along with the renewable energy conventional space will also come up uh, there has been a lot of uh, emphasis by the ministry of power for reforms in the distribution sector and the scheme has already kicked off uh, and lot of states are joining it's an entirely out and out reform based schemes and once uh, you know the big elephant is taken care of uh, uh, the reforms in the distribution scheme i'm sure uh, you will see a, a very good growth with a kind of uh, demand coming in for the power power uh, we will see a good growth uh, in the sector okay all right mr choudhury so we take that point you know for the traditional part uh, uh, companies as well you're seeing good demand as well as the renewable sector but from a stock market perspective uh, you know we like to know what kind of disbursements you're tracking what kind of aum growth you're tracking for fy23 going by the demand trends that you're seeing as of now go ahead sir right so uh, last year we made disbursement of around 64000 crores uh, this year the uh, requests that have come to us are very encouraging so we believe that we can surely Uh, scale it up by another 25% uh, to let's say 75,000 20,000 crores and if that happens uh, our loan book growth should uh, uh, be to the range of 8 to 10% so that's what uh, uh, we feel at this point of time mm. uh, our loan book growth yeah. okay so that's an 8 to 10% growth that you're looking at for the loan book uh, in FY23 correct that's right yes okay anything on uh, gross npas on the asset quality and what is the expectation over there because on a quarter on quarter basis the gross npas have fallen in the quarter gone by but if you can just give us a sense of which way things are headed right so our uh, gross npa in march was around 4.8% and net npa was on 1.71% so uh, we believe that uh, now uh, the asset quality is fairly okay and we don't uh, have ma- more slippages here uh, there are uh, some very good resolutions have uh, come about in the recent past one is the southeast up uh, transmission projects where the uh, recovery has been to the extent of 115% so not only our provision of around 50% will be reversed we will also have some interest component coming up now there are assets of around uh, 10000 crore uh, our exposure uh, which are partly commissioned or uh, you know fully commissioned there uh, we expect now with the uh, growth uh, in the demand for power uh, we expect that uh, we should get a good valuation but if we don't get the right kind of pr- price uh, the model that we adopted for one project jabua where uh, the lenders uh, uh, collaborated with ntpc Uh, to uh, you know uh, take over those assets and uh, run it on their own that's an option available to us these are uh, good projects and uh, uh, you know uh, almost some uh, have uh, many of them have ppas uh, and uh, based uh, near the coal head pit head projects so there we uh, expect a very good resolution uh, There. Could, could you put some numbers in mr choudhury what kind of resolution do you expect from the nclt accounts uh, in fy23 uh, okay so in the last 2 3 years we have resolved around uh, assets worth 10000 crores of our exposure where we had uh, uh, you know uh, resolution of a recovery of close to 65% uh, going forward Uh, some of the assets that i spoke of uh, you know these are pitted projects and with uh, uh, having a good ppa uh, we believe that uh, we can have a, a very good resolution close to 70 75% as well uh, as i said if uh, the uh, the prices do not come forth we can always think of you know alternately uh, go to the jabua model 
where we can uh, uh, the lenders can come together and uh, with NTPC as our operating partner, we can take it over. So with the demand for power going up, uh, these are a good value proposition, we believe. In fact, I was going to ask you about the power demand because India's power generation has outpaced its peers, especially post the pandemic. What is the situation on ground now in terms of demand right. and what kind of growth do you foresee? Uh, well, you see, uh, uh, with the spurt uh, in demand uh, since the onset of uh, summer, uh, the peak power uh, used to be in the range of 180 to 185 gigawatt and suddenly we saw going up to 210 or even 215 gigawatt uh, and the, you know, uh, the government initiative on infrastructure, pipeline, on PLI, and of course, continuing uh, emphasis on uh, Digital India and Make in India, we believe that the power demand is bound to go up in future. And therefore, now you see there is an urgency uh, in terms of capacity addition, largely on the renewable space. But I believe that uh, some, some uh, capacity addition will also happen in the uh, conventional energy space.